Welcome to Educational Links Tutorials. This is the second in this episode, the map making series. In this episode, we are learning how to create a map of Ghana showing the regional and district capitals as well as the road network of the country. Now we make our map appear in first add data, this time boundary files. And we want to add another layer. This time we choose our regions right here. Okay. So this time around we want to refill our regional boundaries. We want to make every region look different. So we right click on regions, choose properties, choose symbology, choose categories, add all values, and then we and check the all value box apply ok yes our map is now looking beautiful our regions are recolored now we want to label the regions so we right click on regions choose label we also want to resize the, the label feature so we choose follow the same procedure we are adding another layer again which is the regional capitals so we just added our regional capitals we also want it also labeled now our regions are fully ready the next layer i want to add is the district capital so you choose add files and choose the district capitals you have seen them right there right click and label the feature and you have our Ghana map now looking a bit more Ghana map yes varying the refilling features the representing features you just click on the layer that you want to change click on the symbol choose your symbol this time we choose choosing square we reduce the size and then you hit OK. Yes, still it's too big, so we are reducing the size. And hit OK. Alright, you realize that we have circle for the region and then we have box for the district capitals. Right click on district capitals, choose properties. We are now going to reposition the title or the label. So you choose the placement. Choose your format and click OK. Here we go. We've been here already, just reducing the size and also changing the color of it. Representing feature for the regional capitals. Now let's go to add our root layer to the map. So we choose add and then we look through our data files and choose roads which is right here click add you realize that we have it right on the map looking a bit more complex now you can also of course choose what feature you want to use to represent the road on the map normally you use linear feature lines and now the next thing we are going to do is since our map is entirely ready with its basic uh, its main features that we want to add we are now going to add the basic features of every map the first we are adding is the title we choose the insert from the menu bar and we click on add title we type our title or we name our map and reposition it on the map layout so yes our title has been added next we want to add our direction sign we choose insert choose direction or arrow north north arrow choose your symbol the choice of symbol you like reposition it on the map normally you put it at the top right corner or top left corner of the map We want to go ahead and add our skill. Okay, this time we want to add the legend. So we need to arrange how the legend should look like. 
you remember not to have a legend arranged in upset order. For example, you have your rivers always below road, railways, and other floating features. Of course, you have to design your legend, give it a title, choose either you want to name it a key, name it a key, or a symbol, conventional signs, or you want to name, name it. You, you also re, you design, you redesign the shape that contains your legend, the background, and of course the the features that are being represented on the legend also need symbols to represent them. Some need lines, some need area shapes and the likes. So you do that using the legend wizard window. As you can see, every right spot means a click, a left click of course and a warning or a warping of a warping effect indicates a right click so our scale seems ready looking beautiful we reposition and then we resize and reposition onto the map we also want to add our scale remember to always add two types of scale insert skills and then you choose your desired symbol don't forget to keep the box checked what box am i talking about skill to fit page box we position the two to look very nice now the next you want to add another basic feature our map needs again should be date and then the author of the page of course the author of the map still have to do some repositioning of the map if need be as is going on there you normally use the pan zoom in and zoom out feature so our map is looking a bit professional now I suppose we are adding date to our map so choose insert choose date choose dynamic test and choose date actually so we go to add author we want to add your name we need to choose text and type in the name drag and read position on the map Normally place it at the base of the map at a very reduced font. Now our map is ready and saved in ArcMap format. How do you save your map? Click on files, choose save, name your map, and then click on save. That is just what you gotta do. Name your map and click on save. There you are. Yes, of course, your map is ready. You can access it anytime you want to again. But how can someone far away from you use this map? The format in which it is is not easily shareable because not everybody have this application. So you need to export your file or your map into an easily accessible format such as popular image extensions like the JPEG, PNG, GIF, TIF and the, and the likes. So we are exporting into JPEG to increase the resolution to make it look quality and that brings us to the end of our video. Now our map is ready in the form of image, so we look, look we locate it on our computer from document ArcGIS folder, and here our JPEG file is available. Here you can share it on every platform you want to easily, even on WhatsApp, Facebook. 
Yes. I hope you've learned something from this video also. Thank you so much for watching. And we look forward to our next video which will talk about creating a smaller map such as a map of a region or a map of a district. Right. Ambassadors of nature.